Hello everybody, thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Reviews today. It's about that time. Let's go take that walk and see what's in the fridge today. Hey guys, thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Reviews today. I do appreciate it. Uh, uh, continuing our six point week here, this next one is Alpenflow. And what this is, a Munich Hells Lager. And this is also a fairly low ABV coming in at 4.90%. Uh, uh, a lawnmower esque beer, if you will. Anything less than 5%, I consider lawn more beer something you could be out cutting the grass or whatever you're doing uh, and come have one or maybe even two of these and go back to what you were doing and not be lightheaded or inebriated depends on what your tolerance is you know I mean if you never ever drink beer maybe one of these will catch you a buzz but if you're used to drinking beer I doubt if one of these and maybe even two is gonna get you shit based <laughs> so with that being said uh, uh, let's get on with this one. I don't think I have a uh, IBU on this one. Uh, yep, Untapped has it at 23. Uh, so it, it may be written on the can there, but it's written so small. I didn't put my glasses on to look. Uh, you know, six point rice here. Uh, they said that they use uh, all German ingredients on this one, even so far as to source the hops directly from a family farm in Bavaria. So, and he says they're going to head out there for harvest this September. I guess I get some more hops. So, uh, let's see what this brings to the table, guys. I don't drink a lot of lagers anymore or low ABV beers, period. Uh, about the lowest thing that I buy is probably a 7%. So, uh, let's see what this brings. That's the only description I've got. I have nothing on untapped on this one. So, uh, it is what it is. Let me get this thing down here and pop the top. And while I pour this, got the, uh, the lager glass here. Glass fires the flute, Pilsner glass, or Pokel. This is my lager glass, my Pilsner glass. Uh, food pairing cuisine is German. Cheese is buttery, brie, gouda, Havarti, Swiss. Uh, meat is pork, fish, and shellfish. And not recommended for extended cellaring because it is a fairly low ABV beer. It does have the date on the bottom of it. It's pretty damn fresh since it comes straight from the brewery. And I will take a quick glance at that because I didn't look at it beforehand, but I know it's fairly fresh. I still can't see it. It's written there because... I can't read it. It's huh. I am going to read it. April. Looks like it's April. It's either 8th or 9th of 2018. And what's, what these guys are doing, they're giving you a, a can donate and a best before date. And they're saying best before October uh, of 2018. So uh, they're giving us both uh, can donate and what they want you to have it by. So uh, it poured a little bit of a head, but it's dissipated already while I was trying to decipher the code there. I mean, the date on the bottom of it there. Looks like a typical lager in the glass. Very light and golden color. Let's get it to the nose. Guys, it smells like a typical lager. Uh, 
I get a little bit of grassy graininess, a little bit of crackery malt, more of a herbal floral hop, uh, German hops. I mean, like a size or a tetanang, or, or you know, uh, a Goldings or something like that. Probably a size or a tetanang. That's what I would say if it's a German hop, and not a noble hop. It smells very typical to me, uh, guys, uh, for what it is. Uh, but it's made with quality ingredients. There's no adjuncts or anything like that, no rice or corn or anything like that. That The big guys, Bud, Miller Coors, all them throw in their beers. Well, let's dive in and see what we got. Cheers, everybody. Cheers, all the guys at Six Point. That's very pleasant, very easy drinking. Same on the taste as I was getting on the nose. A little bit of crackery biscuity malt. Very light, very crisp, very refreshing. More of a herbal floral hop profile. And a little bit of grassy graininess that all lagers have. Very delicious guys a, a very nice example of the style and low ABV on top of that you could have one maybe two of them and like I said earlier go back to doing what you were doing whether you're raking leaves cutting the grass shoveling snow whatever it is maybe doing uh, so uh, and not be too inebriated so well let me step on this for a little bit and I'll be back and we'll see where it ends up uh, it's not blowing my hair back or my socks off anything but uh, very well made beer all right, guys, I'm back. Got just a little left here. Uh, very tasty beer, guys, for the style and what it is. Uh, very easy drinking, very crisp and refreshing. Uh, a very well-made lager, or pilsner, if you will, whatever you want to call this. Uh, but I enjoyed this. Uh, like I said, uh, I don't buy lagers anymore, usually. Uh, I like ales with a little more hoppy or more taste to them. But it is a very nice beer. Uh, and it does have the IBUs on here. So you got the ABV of 4.9 and the IBUs at 23. You got the canned on date and you got a best buy or best before date. So they're giving you all the information you absolutely need uh, to buy this beer. So another one, like I said, to sit by the pool or on the beach or wherever and have you two, three, six or... Well, maybe even more you might be there all day and take your 12 pack down there as long as you're nibbling on something uh, during the course of the day or having some food with it i don't see why you couldn't drink 12 of these uh, in a day's time and not and still not be inebriated so final chug absolutely super easy drinking guy the alcohol is undetectable to me so, uh, very nice beer, guys. Uh, I'm going to give this a minus. Uh, 92 for me on this one. Uh, very enjoyable beer. It's exactly what they say it is. A low ABV, easy drinking lager. Hell's lager. Uh, over to Beer Advocate, they say 4.41. Good numbers from those guys over there. I mean, it's almost to the solid A category from those guys. And over to Untapped those guys over there say 3.63 so they're only giving it a b uh, i think it's better than that with all the information they're giving us on the can uh, and what they're used to brew the beer and no adjuncts and quality ingredients and all german ingredients on top of that uh, all that has to be imported i mean uh, all that it's all german it's all grown over there uh, produced over there so a little bit more costs involved so it's a good beer, so especially if you're into the bloggers, you're drinking the Buds, the Miller's Coors, pick you up a six pack of these. Uh, you're going to be drinking something uh, that's going to have a little more quality ingredients than, and than that garbage is. So that's where we're going to leave you guys. If you had it, let me know what you think. Till we meet again, let's go see what's in the fridge.